Hey guys, we got a lot to talk about today, so let's just fast forward this intro. Got a minute? In Genesis 30, we see the story of Jacob and Laban. Laban is offering him anything that he wants, what does he need in order for him to stay and tend his flock. And the deal they come to is that Jacob is going to take all the streaked, speckled, and spotted. At the time, there wasn't very many that were speckled, spotted, and streaked, and the ones that were were not very strong, but Jacob was really clever. So he brought the flock to a, a place of still water, and he takes his bark and he makes speckles and spots on the bark itself. While the sheep are there, they get a little frisky. Verse 39 says, They made it in front of the branches, and they bore young that were streaked, speckled, or spotted. So Jacob ended up actually taking the majority of the flock and all of the best of the best sheep. Because this story is supposed to help us understand that what we are looking at and what's in front of our eyes is what we're going to reproduce. So the main thing I want to talk about is what are you looking at? In our highly media culture, the main thing that's going on is people are looking for the most extreme thing to be able to get the most attention. And so reality TV is competing with the news and vice versa. And because of that, we normalize extremes. And then we wonder as a society why we keep on moving further and further away from the things that we were before. It's because what we're looking at is different. All of our information we expect to be instantaneous and we expect it to be entertaining. And we have accepted this entertaining as a part of life. And that's because a problem. What you look at, you are going to reproduce in your life. So what are you looking at? I work a lot with youth and I see that they, they believe that reality looks very different than what it does. They believe that reality looks a lot like reality TV and you see it in the things that they say and they do. And then we as a culture get mad at them, but we are the ones that produced it. My hope and prayer is that we can resolve this for future generations. This entertaining culture is not going to go away, but we can change it. We can shape it. If we turn off the TV or we turn the channel from the things that aren't going to be healthy for us to watch watch, then that's going to send a message, but it starts with us. So my challenge to you right now is monitor the things that you look at. Thanks for taking a minute.